Cancer, hi. So this is going to be a reading for January 2024. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Cancer. Bam! Oui. Really? All right, you got some good, some bad, and some ugly in here. For the overall energy for the reading, you get the full. You're keeping yourself open. Whatever happens, happens. It's like, yeah. Some will come, some will go. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here, but something not great. Not all of it, though. You got some good stuff here, too. Anyway, starting off the reading, you get the devil crossed by the page of swords. Yeah, you're dealing with something quite unhealthy here. I don't know what it is yet. And in your focus, you got the two of pentacles. So it feels like you don't know how to deal with it quite yet. You haven't figured it out. Um, but, okay, we'll see what that is. Um, in the recent past, the Seven of Cups, some traces were made, some good, bad, ugly. I don't know. We'll see. In your strength, the Four of Swords. Yeah, you're keeping it together, though. So whatever this is, I feel like even though you don't know exactly how to kind of navigate it, uh, you will. You will, because you're, you're trying to keep yourself as steady, as balanced as possible in order to navigate through these energies. In the immediate future, the Ten of Swords, this is an energy of loss. Uh, supporting this reading, the Ace of Pentacles, you're not focusing on what's being lost, you're focusing on what's being gained. You know, there's a brand new beginning at play here, big time. So, okay. The energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, the Emperor, you're stronger than you know. And you've got this more than you think you've got this, basically. In your hopes and fears, you're hoping that things would work out for a particular situation. And for the potential outcome, the Knight of Cups. You keep on keeping on, basically. So whatever happens here, I don't see it taken away from you in the sense of, oh my god, I lost myself completely. Not really. Not really. You're moving forward. You know, head up and all. Okay. Let's uh, let's see what's going on here. Let me do the full. The Nine of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the Hangman. Interesting, interesting energy. Because you have an openness to a particular situation. For the most part, from a soul level, you're definitely showing up, or energetically speaking, you're definitely showing up open to it. You know, you're like, okay, let's go, let's do this. Uh, in the physical, there's a lot of obstacles as you deal with the situation. There's a lot of, let's go. There's a lot of, hold, we're not going anywhere. There's a lot of, let's think about it, and let's think about it some more, you know. Um, it's, there's a lot of hiccups in the way. There's a lot of, I'm going towards this, but... The, the, okay, let's stop, you know. Um... Hmm, what is this situation for you? Let's do the devil. The two of cups, the four of swords, the seven of swords. It's something that just doesn't want to work out. And it could be even a friendship. I don't know what it is. And I feel like you keep on pushing in the direction of this has to work out because that's what you hope for. But there's something about the situation that when it does come together, it looks unhealthy. It looks like it's not working out. You know, I don't see you necessarily persisting in the way of, well, it has to because uh, cause I want it to. No, no, I just see your intention for it. And as you're dealing with it, you kind of see the red flags. You kind of see because that's why you're kind of stopping, you know, as you go with it. You're like, oh, what's going on here? Let's kind of revisit this, you know. So I see you being aware of the devil energy in there. And I see you being aware that. The universe may have showed you signs along the way too. Like this is this is just not working out. And again, I don't see you persisting necessarily, but I see you moving forward. And if this situation wants to persist with you, you're open to it, but at the same time, keeping yourself aware that it's not going quite flowy here. You know, it's not it's not quite healthy. 
Let's do the Page of Swords. The Star, the Death card, the Knight of Pentacles. I kind of get the sense that you're kind of entering a space of acceptance over the fact that as much as you want for this to work out, it may not. You know? You're heading in that direction of, okay, now I get it. You know? Um, let's do the Two of Pentacles in your focus. The Empress, the Five of Cups, the Seven of Cups. It's not even one of those things where I can tell you, hey, there's been a lot of red signs. How come you miss them? What's wrong with you? Are you not seeing what happened, especially now that so much time is... It's not one of those. Because I see you clearly seeing those signs. So I can't even hold you accountable. I can't even be like, hey, what's going on here? Come on, wakey, wakey, you know? No, it's not showing up like that. It's... There's this very nurturing, very loving aspect of yourself. And that's how you approached this situation. So even if it showed you, hey, it's nasty. Hey, it's unhealthy. Hey, it's not good for you. You kept yourself open from that perspective of love and acceptance over it. And that's what got you into this place of you found yourself ultimately still involved in this. And still, this is shown up as, hey, it's not working out. It's unhealthy, you know? Um, so it almost looks like you're looking back and you're still in a place of you don't even know exactly what to do about it. Because um, you're looking back and you're definitely seeing the, the signs of, yeah, this, this would have never worked out. Not like, no, no. But it's not closed off for you. It's not a chapter closed kind of a thing. Not yet. You know? Um, let's do the Seven of Cups in the recent past. The lovers, the wheel of fortune, the queen of wands. There's those times where it actually looked like, hey, everything's perfect here. No reason to worry. No, no signs, no red flags, no nothing. And there are those times. I see that here. Multiple times. So, okay. Let's do the four of swords in your... Strength, the Knight of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, it almost looks like every time you dealt with the negative or with the unhealthy aspects of this, you always found a way to recharge and come back at it from that place of openness, acceptance, love. And I kind of feel like you're still possibly doing it. Let's do the Ten of Swords in the immediate future. The Six of Wands, the King of Cups, the Page of Cups. You're, still, you're killing me here. Um, this situation is looking like a goner. Like, it's done. It's a done deal. You don't want to close it off. It's going to close it, close itself off. Something's going to give here. Something's going to be like, oh, okay, well, Cancer's not doing it. You know, the universe is going to step in and it's going to be like, you're not doing it. We're closing this off for you. You're forbidden to go in this direction anymore. You're still looking at this situation from a place of love from a place of i'm still gonna send it love i don't know what this is to you i have no idea and great it's i mean i don't think i would personally be able to sustain this energy of love for so long for a situation that i see is just not great it's just not working out you know it's it's very hard to do you keep on doing it though even when the universe says we're taking your toy away from you because you're done here um okay i mean more power to you okay this is very interesting i did not expect this kind of a re that's the beauty of this job of mine i never expect what i what i come around to and it's, it's like at some point it all feels like it's the same and then something like this hits and i'm like it's not the same though um for the ace of pentacles and the supportive energies you get the ten of pentacles the ten of swords the ace of cups okay same thing you know that whole sense of and it's because you you achieved this stability within yourself and this place of an open heart towards whatever the hell, you know? 
Um, but from it's almost like a confirmation of you being in this place to be able to sustain this energy towards another situation outside of yourself because you achieve this place of stability and keeping it there you know sustaining it too um, that your your heart is still open even though the universe cut off your toys um, let's do the Emperor for the energy that's hidden. The Eight of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles. You're lacking trust in yourself. You have it here. You're definitely having it. I see it all over the map here. And at times you're doubting yourself, especially when it comes to, if you're working on something in particular, or if you have this plan about doing something, you're lacking confidence in self. And you have it. It's right here. You're the one with your own mind that's creating this whole blockage towards you stepping fully into that sense of, I do have it, you know? Um, interesting. Let's do the three of cups in your hopes and fears. The justice card, the queen of pentacles, the strength card. Yeah, you're showing up as, you know, I don't know even know what the hell you're showing up as but you want justice for all from that place of love for all love for everything love for... i get it you're very hopeful from that place too i don't know i don't know where you got these energies from but they're freaking amazing but you're sustaining especially the energy of love for situations that come in and out you know and some of them may be out may be out completely some of them the universe i told you that yeah, cancer's not gonna do it we gotta step in you know um and you still have your heart open towards them it takes a lot it takes a lot to do that and it takes a lot to 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 create that that balance within yourself to, to be able to do that and then you're coming up with a plan here for something and you're like i don't have it what are you talking about you have it all over the map here you know let's do the knight of cups in the potential outcome the four of cups the four of wands the page of pentacles okay It's also how you distribute this love too, because it almost feels like you're more capable of forgiveness and love towards others than you are towards the ones that are closest to you. Interesting. That's where you're getting with this energy right here as you're looking in that direction, because you're the one that's bringing this up. I didn't make it up. This is what you're showing me here with this energy. Like how you're more open with your heart and more forgiving towards others that are more at a distance than towards the ones that are closest to you. <clears throat> you're giving me the sense of you're starting to look into that, you know, you're starting to learn from that, which is a beautiful teaching, I would say, especially after all of this. Um, uh, what a reading. Anyways, let's see what the universe has to close it off. The Judgment card, the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. Alright. You don't trust yourself in this. You don't trust these energies as if I embody them. I'm there with these energies. Uh, and when you don't trust yourself enough and you, when you don't step into these energies, you're not necessarily doing it. So you could be looking at whatever situation this is and be like oh yeah they're an asshole you know not that far but you know what i mean so you you are these energies you are stability you are love you are forgiveness here you're showing me that here that it's a massive energy that's available for you and that's right there with you it's who you are what you work through and what you've healed to get you to this place the problem is the lack of confidence here you don't trust yourself. Step it up in trusting yourself there in that department because you do have it. Anyways, let's do the Oracle of E. Abracadabra. <laughs> the perfect energy for you. 
21st, 21st, 21. Abracadabra. Aladdin's not the only one with three wishes. You too have a magical lamp that can summon all you desire to your doorstep. It's a simple matter of making a clear intention and letting go of any foul notion that you have to wait for the genie. You are the magic. I told you you've got this. But you, you gotta believe it. I can tell you all day and night until it comes, if it doesn't come from you, you're not gonna believe me, so. Abracadabra for you. But that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.